with your accurate weather now forecast. Ranby Factor time this evening gets a Ranby Factor of seven. Pleasant for being and working outside. Temperatures come down a little bit and dry for most of the evening. Later on, there's a tiny chance we'll see a scattered shower drift down for the north. 86 today, 72 the low. It was muggy, but these temperatures not too far from average. This morning's rain, nothing like what we saw on Sunday morning. 0.3 at Omaha Zeppeli Airfield. Widespread quarter to half inch amounts with a fast moving line of thunderstorms, some wind but not a lot of severe weather as the storms came northeast out of Lincoln and into the Omaha Metro at around 233, 334 o'clock. Radar pretty quiet. A couple sprinkles down here in southeast Nebraska. Most of that not reaching the ground. Papillion, hello. It's the camera here at 72nd Street and Highway 370. You see the mostly sunny sky we have right now. 86 at Omaha Zeppelin Airfield. It's muggy, dew point 72. Breeze out of the northwest now at 8 miles an hour. A lot of low to mid 80s in western Iowa and eastern Nebraska at this 5 o'clock hour. Dew points are still very muggy in the lower 70s, so it's sticky. There's a lot of moisture in the air, but a northwest breeze will gradually dry the air out over the next couple of days. Currently, the winds are 5 to 10 miles an hour, 8 in Omaha, 9 now in Plattsmouth, 8 in Fremont, blowing in from the northwest, and gradually drier air from the Dakotas will work down in here. Our computer model, our storm predictor, does show you a couple of scattered showers here into northeast Nebraska by 830, possibly making to the metro or drying up as they head in here. But if we were to see a shower, probably 9, 10 o'clock, if we'd see a passing brief shower. There's 2.30 in the morning. Here's morning drive time tomorrow. Looks beautiful. No big storms like we've seen the last couple of mornings, late night or early morning. There's the radar and satellite showing you the partly cloudy skies, but relatively quiet weather. This goes back a ways, 24 hours. You see the origination of the storms yesterday across western Nebraska, raced eastward, but then weakened, and now things are quieter. Does look like active weather could get going again in this area. The Storm Prediction Center says there's an enhanced risk of severe storms, the Quad Cities, down into Illinois this evening and tonight. But that's east of us. We should be partly cloudy by 11, partly cloudy tomorrow morning, and sunny to partly cloudy for the day on Tuesday. And a little bit less humid. Tonight's low temperature, 66, partly cloudy skies, maybe some fog late tonight if the winds are light enough. We've seen a lot of moisture recently, so it's possible. A few clouds and patchy fog early, but mostly sunny noontime and mostly sunny at around 4 o'clock for the day on Tuesday. 85 the high temperature, 80 on Wednesday, 82 on Thursday. A little less humid again on Wednesday and even not so bad on Thursday. But it's still summer and it will feel like it again by late week. Maybe a few scattered showers or storms on there Friday and the upcoming weekend temperatures climbing back into the low 90s for highs. You know, when you have early morning storms, you're wondering what's going on. If you just download the KETV mobile app, you can punch that up right there. Interactive radar, storm alerts, latest forecast right there on the home screen. Free for all iPhones and Androids. I pulled that out around 3.30.